Emergency repairs for the northbound M6 taking a lane out 26 to 27, which is the oral interchange to Standish. And now news is coming in of three lanes closed because of an accident on the M42. We've already done three videos about driving in the UK, hints and tips for visitors. But today, we're gonna to combine that with the reason why you should rent a car when you come to the UK and get out of London, is we're gonna drive down the motorway and do a little Welsh road trip. A Welsh road trip? Yeah. Sounds we're good. We're gonna drive down the M4 to Tenby in West Wales. So we're gonna show some of the roads, some of the villages, and then we're going to do a bit of why you should get off the motorway and explore. So, by the way, Mel's driving for the first part. Okay. <laughs> Great. So let's go. You okay, Mel? Happy to be driving? <laughs> as long as you don't criticise me. So let's jog the motorway. The road signs on the motorway are all blue. So now we're heading west on the M4 towards Swansea on the South Wales coast. Swansea Bay in the background. So that's a transit van. That's what all the workmen drive in the UK. White transit vans. You're doing very well. Don't be patronising. Those brown signs are tourist information signs. Port Talbot. It's a really industrial town. What's it famous for? Actors. Famous actors. Such as? Richard Burton lived up the valley. Anthony Hopkins. And most recently Michael. is a Michael Sheen. See the cameras coming up on this yellow gantry. The numbers in black, they're just numbered junctions. It doesn't indicate any distance. When you leave London, it's junction one, two, three, four, five, and so on. As in most countries, you have to wear your seatbelt in the front and in the back. And in the 70s, <laughs> Jimmy Savile used to advertise uh, the safety information film, didn't he? Click and click every trip. Yeah, <laughs> Ironically, one of the most dangerous men in Britain <laughs> used to advertise, yeah, advertise safety. This is a sign for a service station where you can get pasties. pasties and overpriced petrol and overpriced coffee and toilets and dirty toilets so this sign coming up on the left means end of motorway which is a little motorway picture like with a, picture, a red line through it picture of transformer end of transformers robots in disguise so these things on the left Three bars, two bars, one bar. That's 300 yards. 200 yards. 100 yards to the junction or the roundabout in this case. So this is the end and we're stopping at a service station because I'm gonna take over driving. Look at the price of that petrol, 150. That's a litre by the way. Not a gallon. <laughs> M6 northbound, a lane out on the exit slip to the southbound M5. Apparently there are some people on the road at uh, Junction 8 for the M5. Um, that's uh, on the link road heading from the M6 north to the south M5, so watch out along that stretch. 
the dreaded roundabout. If you're going straight on, you can stay in the left-hand lane. But on busier junctions like this one, it tells you what lane to be in. You can see this sign coming up. So if you're going straight on to Carmarthen, it's the outer two lanes. And if you're going left, it's the inner lane. So, it tells you on the floor as well, yeah. on the road. So that's useful for the busier roundabouts. They do tell you what lane to be in. So we're in the middle lane. A48 West. A48 West. A48 West. A48 West. By the way, you can tell at A48 West, we've come off, the motorway is ended now. We're now on the main road. That's why the signs are no longer blue, they're green. So, Brown's Hotel, that's a famous hotel. Yeah, it used to get, uh, Dylan Thomas used to get drunk in the Brown's Hotel. Okay. Actually, he used to get drunk in most hotels. <laughs> yes. So this is one of the reasons to get off the motorway if you're not in a hurry and explore Wales on the west of Britain. So now we're in Larne in Carmarthenshire and this was where Dylan Thomas used to live. His boathouse is just five minutes walk down the path there and behind that's Larne Castle and it's starting to rain but anyway we've got a video on this, a separate video, check that out, link below. Frightened me, what do you want? Heart attack! Can you quote some Dylan Thomas for me? Um, the black, 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 blackness of the black. I'll have another beer. <laughs> That's probably right. <laughs> Pendine on the way to Tenby and we're at the beach Pendine Sands and this was really famous for early speed record attempts when the tide goes out there's a really long stretch of beach and they used to use that for uh, the speed attempts the famous one was Babs wasn't it it crashed and they, and they buried it in the sand they dug it up and restored the car they're actually building a new museum there oh, I didn't so know I think that. that's gonna be the centerpiece for the museum. Quite a few speed records were set here on this hard compacted sand. small little town, not far from Tenby. And basically it's like one main road, is it, would you say? Mm -hmm. I'm correct. Right by the sea. 
Martha thought it was important to film the rain in Wales. There it is. The Welsh pretend be. Dinbych a Pascod. So that was our little Welsh road trip to Tenby in West Wales. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw some of the roads you may encounter on the way. And also, when you get there, the beautiful seaside town of Tenby. You like it? Yes. It is one of our favourite places, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And especially in the winter, when the weather may not be up to much, but look, quiet beaches. Anyway, we'll see you next time from Marcus and Melissa. That's bye from us. Bye.